दीदी मैंने जैसे अपने आप को जब ऑब्जर्व किया क्लोजली सो देन देन आई फील लाइक देर आर सर्टेन पीपल देर आर सर्टेन सिचुएशन विच आर नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेबल टू मी मे बी लाइक i feel that if i am not in the company of those people or i am not in that situation i am more uh, harmonious i am more comfortable more peaceful so why to uh, like waste my energy in making the people and the situations harmonious to my existence why not to move away from the people and the situations uh, which make me comfortable how to handle this kind of emotion and feeling thank you dilip yeah we'll ask this question when i avoid the other person right we will notice that it is not really about avoiding it is about the feeling in me because the feeling in me may be persisting even when i avoid the person the person may not be in front of me the very thing that the moment i think of that person i may have a feeling of opposition and that will also disturb me isn't it so there are two things that are involved here one is the feeling within me the other is my behavior with them or my interaction with the other person in the outside right i will find that i don't necessarily interact with every person right we interact only with few people in the whole course of the day we may interact with i mean if you compare the entire population yes that is a very small percentage of people but what is my feeling towards all people if i ask that question you will notice that what is naturally acceptable to you is the feeling of relationship right now what we are calling natural acceptance is actually an acceptance based on some assumption which we are not clear now if you look at this this lower block in the mm-hmm. diagram where the b1 block seems to be hidden from me now here nothing from inside is guiding me about the relationship and i am not referring to my natural acceptance either so it looks to me like there is no relationship because i tend to see the units as separate ultimately that's what it boils down to what i see outside is units which seem to be independent of each other like for instance i see the forms of human beings right i see so many human beings as different forms they look different they dress different right they seem different and i can see this entire entity i see it as something not connected to me certainly isn't it because if i identify myself i am limiting myself to the limits of my body isn't it if you see the till the tip yes. of your fingers hmm? if you look at your hand okay. till the tips hmm. of the fingers you say this is me outside of that you say this is not me isn't it so i don't see that connection right now what i am seeing as relationship is i am seeing people who have the opinions same as mine or maybe or it may be people who have approximately the same amount of physical facility as me or so on there can be many assumptions on the bis- basis of which i assume relationship on the basis of the body because ultimately deep down i am not fully consciously aware that i am the self and my relationship is with the self as my higher activities keep opening up as i contemplate on the relationship i will realize that the relationship is already there and the relationship is already there by virtue of all the units being in space right now because i am seeing things through the gross body 
right now because i am seeing things through the eyes i think that all these units are separate from one another but actually it is not like that we are interconnected very deeply because at the base we are all interconnected by virtue of just being there in space we are embedded in space every unit and it is interconnected that realization can come to me only when i am able to see it for myself at the highest activity of the self the realization so in fact till we are able to get to this highest activity till we are able to uncover this highest activity within ourselves we may always keep shifting back to that feeling of opposition because we don't see our relatedness with all even so that glimpse is there in our within us that glimpse is there in the form of natural acceptance so even though we haven't uncovered these higher activities we have a vague glimpse of that in the form of the natural acceptance but we need to understand the natural acceptance what is this natural acceptance this is something that is innate to me not something that is driven from outside and you will find that this is the same in all of us in the workshop itself you may have noticed when we ask the questions about natural acceptance we get the same answer if i don't ask you for a particular person what would your answer be what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition yes it is relationship it's relationship but when it comes to a particular person we may have had past experiences which were unpleasant we may have had some interaction which was um not so to our liking whatever may be the reason you will find that you are basing your feeling on that past experience so it is not really naturally acceptable to you but because there was some unhappiness that you linked with that experience therefore now you want to avoid that you still you know feeling of relationship is still naturally acceptable to you but right now you have a different acceptance i wouldn't say natural acceptance it is an acceptance aapne kuch maan liya hai us relationship ke bare mein and that may be linked to some preconditioning it may be linked to a past experience whatever it may be but this is not innate to you this is not your natural acceptance can you see the difference uh didi i can see the difference but the thing is that uh even uh, when we learn in our life what we call maturity learning experience so we keep on changing throughout our life on the basis of our experiences and that's what we call like we are uh, maturing or we are learning so shouldn't we learn from our experiences and modify our behavior with the other people and other situations or should we just continue the same way throughout our life based on uh, only these three things you are referring to yeah what you will notice is that the moment you have feeling of opposition you become disturbed abhi we leave aside the other person for you yourself what is it that you want you want to be happy at all times right now what is happening is because we are not able to have that happiness within we are not able to see that feeling of relationship within to avoid that unhappiness we are actually avoiding the person really speaking isn't it but we could have a feeling of relationship if we could be happy within there would be no need to avoid the person isn't it even though we are avoiding we have a feeling of opposition we may not be aware of it because we are not even referring to our natural acceptance as we keep referring more and more 
it becomes very clear that what is natural for me is feeling of relationship because whenever i have a feeling of opposition something seems not right within i may suppress it i may not bring it up i may avoid it sometimes not just avoiding people we avoid thinking about such things we avoid you know becoming conscious of them because we are scared of the hurt that we will have there is fear of being hurt so just like on the body the other day i was saying if there is some pain say in one foot in your toe say in your left toe there is pain when you walk you try to avoid putting pressure on that toe because it pains isn't it so you change your whole gait to accommodate that pain in the toe now you are avoiding the pain in the toe and you are walking not quite straight but a little bit with a limp so that that pain doesn't happen and we accept that as okay it's all right wouldn't it be nicer to be not having that pain and be able to walk comfortably normally that would be a better option isn't it so same way within us also there are so many things that cause us disturbance within and we don't realize and wherever there is hurt we may suppress it but it hasn't gone anywhere it's still within us and from time to time it will surface and that feeling of opposition is going to lead to some disturbance disharmony within and ultimately some time it may become so huge that it may burst we may have an outburst but with that fear of that causing disturbance within us we tend to avoid the people we tend to avoid thinking about it don't we say na no? let's think of something better let's not spoil the mood avoiding but the thing is it's not gone anywhere it is still within us and until we resolve these it will keep surfacing from time to time and this is what is happening so we keep shifting from happiness to unhappiness and it goes on so ultimately we want to be happy in continuity for that let us try to uncover these higher activities within us as we do we will notice this that the moment i have a feeling of opposition i get disturbed and if i can have the right feeling at that moment i will also notice this that it was never about the other person it was about what is my experience within my experiencing the feeling within what i had assumed was that this feeling that i am having within is because of that other person it is actually that i am deciding my feeling and i have the ability to or i have the potential to have the right feeling regardless of what the other person does and with that feeling not necessary that we are accepting the other's behavior but with the feeling of relationship we do whatever we need to do outside but we certainly don't need to avoid the person can you see the difference 